Hello Pisces, thanks for joining me for the September of 2019 Tarot Scope with Animal Totem. As always, we're going to use the Rock and Roll Tarot deck for the main portion of the reading, my own creation. And then we're going to follow up with the card from the Beast Mistress Animal Oracle cards, which is also my own creation. And then if you are a Patreon Level 2 supporter, we're going to pull an additional card for the healing... Uh, Leanne Peters Healing Energy Cards, which is a, a really, really cool deck. Uh, okay, and if you want to find out about these decks or any other thing, then uh, you can do so by um, looking at my website, vickyburley.com. Uh, what's going on? I can't get these cards in the basket. Give me a second here, please. <laughs> okay, let's see here. So we are going to shuffle for Pisces. And this is for September 2019 for Pisces Sun, Rising Moon. If you are, by the way, if you do do the Patreon thing, you have access to all 12 bonus card readings for one price. You don't have to pay per, per bonus card. Pisces, September 2019. One more card for Pisces. September of 2019. Okay. I, I felt like I'm hearing like you're going to have a big surprise. <laughs> so we'll see about that. We'll see about that. Oh, by the way, if you're interested, I am open up for the ingress readings. Always really popular. It's a look ahead at the upcoming season. And I have other readings. You can find all that on my website. Okay, well the first thing that stands out to me is you've got these a couple of these big major spiritual cards here. Major Arcanas, yes, but also major spiritual cards. Uh, the Star and the Judgment card. Both are depicted with spiritual entities, angelic forces at work, angelic, um, higher forces, spirit guides, all of these things. So the universe has really got your back. Oh, by the way, Pisces, it's your full moon this month too, I forgot to tell you that. If you have one new moon and one full moon every year, and this is your full moon this month, and that's occurring on the 14th. So, by the looks of this spread and the fact that you do have the full moon in your sign, this could be a, a major time for spiritual enlightenment. Uh, go bask under the moonlight if you can. Um, do ask, Say a prayer, ask for downloads, ask for dreams. I feel like dreams are going to be super strong for many Pisces out there. Okay, let's start here. We've got that uh, something that you've been stressed out about. The stress is leaving you. It's going away. And it looks like because it's it, money's going to definitely play a part in it. Looks like for some... Well, look at the card first. Look at his face. What does that face look like to you? Because that's the way I always like to do it. Because sometimes he looks stressed. Sometimes he looks, you know, different things. But today he looks like he's like... Oh, Finally, I got this chunk of money that I can work with, and now I can get things accomplished and get things done that I want to get done. This Knight of Rods plays a role in it as well. Knight of Rods being a fire sign person. No gender in these general readings. So a fire sign person, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Um, we are going to be... Well, actually, no, we won't be in September, but... If you're watching this in August, we're still in um, the time of Leo. So this person may have shown up just now in Leo, or just before September in the time of Leo. Again, fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sag. A uh, younger person, not necessarily younger in years, but has a younger, youthful outlook. Has new ideas. He looks right at you being stressed out here, he or she. So they, they have an idea about what's been, uh, what ails you. They're going to know how to cure what ails you, okay? And um, it's a wish come true. And this money is a wish come true. Um, you've been waiting a while. Some of you have been waiting a while, but some of you, I think, it's, it's like you can take a breath. Like you can just relax now, you know? I don't feel, sometimes this is like recovering from an illness, and that might be in some cases, but to me it feels like it's good. It's like, oh, now I, can, I don't have to stress anymore. I can relax. I can chill. I can get in the vibe, I can meditate, or whatever your version of meditating is. You know, go into the water, going on a boat, nature, bathtub. You know, it doesn't have to be sitting there with the, you know, the mudras and doing the ohms and stuff. Whatever you do to connect with spirit, to connect with your higher self, to chill out, to relax. It's a wish come true. 
don't push something that's not working here because um, it feels like you're like okay I got the money let's go we're gonna go do this you know and, and then when the magician shows in reverse it's like trying to force a square peg in a round hole so we don't want to do that there's a rising against that let spirit guide you let spirit show you because the Emperor is going to show up and the Emperor is right in line with all this good energy here with the Knight of Rods the, um, the wish card and then the Emperor so the Emperor is somebody in a position of power authority male or female who shows you favor, is in favor of you. I, mean, I keep hearing the word favor. Maybe they're going to do you a favor. But I, I, when I'm hearing the word favor, it's more like an old school uh, favor, you know, the way that the word would have been used like in old days, like they show you favor or something like that. Meaning they like you. They want to help you out, basically. <laughs> that's, just, that's what it boils down to. Yeah, so looks good. The Emperor's going to show up through divine intervention. I'm going to put that as your, um, I'm going to put that as your title, divine Inter intervention, divine intervention, yeah. Because they're going to show up through divine intervention and things are going to, so you just have to vibe with spirit. You have to get on the frequency. You, know, you have to get in that frequency, in that zone, and things are going to show up. The Emperor's going to show up, and the Emperor's going to help you. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and get over here and get our animal totem going. I'll just shuffle it. Freehand, baby. I'm going freehand. The reason that I, people ask why I use that card thing is I, get, I have like arthritis or my hands or something. And um, it hurts. You know, after hours and hours of shuffling cards, banging them on my bones, it, it hurts my hands. Unfortunately. And for doing it for 30 years, too. <laughs> 30 years of being a keyboard player and banging cards on my hands has taken its toll. So I use that basket for... Um, and you, it's easier to do a real loose shuffle in that basket, too, to get those single cards out. But anywho, let's see here. What is the animal totem card for our Pisces friends who are having their full moon this month? I have one. Frog. Frog is transformation. When I saw this, too, the first thing I thought of was the water. I thought of the water, I thought of, because you're the Pisces, going to the water, vibing with that water energy, not stressing about whatever, going to the water and allowing the universe to, to work its magic. Yeah, that's another, might be a good uh, title for you. Allow the universe to work its magic, because there's some magic going on, and it's full moon magic. But the, the, the frog, anyways, it, it's leaps and bounds. It leaps forward. It's leaps and bounds. And it's, it's the final... Uh, well, let me read what I wrote initially on the card. Rainmaker, alchemist, clairaudient, fertility, transformation, metamorphosis, safe passage to the netherworld, the final stages of growth you have arrived. Yeah, it, it's... You're not a tadpole or a newt or whatever these other little stages are. It's, it's not... It's not different from a butterfly, you know, in that way. It goes through these different stages, and it emerges as this new creature, this more evolved creature. It also talks about making big leaps in your life, though. Like things, you're just, you're here, and then you leap to there. Like things happening in leaps and bounds. Not, not in a gradual progression, more in leaps and bounds. Yeah, so it looks very, very favorable. Uh, okay, hey, everybody. If you are a uh, Patreon Level 2 person, there's going to be one more card pulled, not only for your sign, but all 12 signs, and you have access to everything, plus a week ahead reading Astrology and Tarot. Uh, you can check all that out from my website. You can find the link above and below. I want to thank everybody for everything that you do do. By purchasing all my wares, I have books, decks, all kinds of readings, not just the uh, Ingress reading, which is available for a limited time. But I have all sorts of stuff that keeps this all going, and keeps these readings free each and every month on YouTube for s several years now. And I want to continue to do it. And your support makes that happen. And I do appreciate it oh so much. Um, I do read all the comments. I, usually the first day I have my computer and I do my little hearts on the first day. I read them the other days, but it's on my phone for some reason it's weird to try to do the hearts. So I, a lot of times I don't. But I definitely do read them and I do appreciate every, every one of you oh so much. Remember that you are love and beauty incarnate. Have a great month of September already. And have a great full moon. You're one and only per year full moon in your sign. Okay, Pisces. 
Thanks again. Have a great one. I'll see you next month.